Hey everyone, Cameron here from McLaren Racing. Today's video will be on McLaren's latest 8th scale ESC, the M32E Pro 200. This ESC is rated for 200 continuous amps, so it's good for buggies, truggies, and short course trucks. This ESC is not designed for drag racing. This ESC features an all aluminum case with McLaren's Hurricane fan coming stock from the factory to maximize heat dissipation and cooling. This ESC also features an onboard USB port just like the rest of the McLaren ESCs on the market. That way you don't need any modules or adapters to connect for programming. Also new to McLaren's M32 line is firmware version 40.01. This firmware version fixes a rare issue that the ESC momentarily stops during operation. This firmware version is available for all M32 ESCs as well as McLaren's previous ESCs that are on the market already. An important note to keep in mind about firmware version 40.01 is that it changes the way that you connect your ESC for programming. Previously, you could connect your USB cables at any point while the ESC was on. Now, the ESC has to be off while you connect your cables. Then, you turn the ESC back on for programming. I'll walk you through step by step with the M32E Pro 200 in front of me. First, ensure that the ESC is off. If you're not running a power switch, unplugging and plugging in your battery will act as your switch. My ESC is off, so I'm ready to plug in. I'm using a laptop, so I'm just using a regular USB to micro USB cable. This cable is the one that came in the box, and I highly recommend using that one that came in the box since not all USB cables will work. If you've lost the one that came in the box, you can order part number MCL4054. This is a replacement USB cable. Once your cables are all connected, you are ready to open the McLaren SmartLink app. If you do not already have this app installed, I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video. If it has been a while since you've opened the app, it might ask you if there's an update available and if you would like to install it. Click yes. Now, turn your ESC on. Now, on the left side of your screen, there'll be a status window. If your ESC says online, then you are ready to upgrade. It might ask you if there's a patch available and if you would like to install it. If you see this message, click yes. After you're back on this page, head to the firmware tab, then select the drop down. Click on M32E Pro 200, or if you're using a different ESC, it'll say your ESC's name with 40.01. Then at the bottom left, there'll be a download button. Click that button. Allow the status bar to fully complete. Then you'll see a message that says success. Hit OK. Now you're ready to program your ESC to your preferences. After you're done, make sure to hit save. I didn't make any changes yet, so the save button is grayed out. After you've updated your settings, your ESC is ready to go. All it needs is a new calibration. After every time you update the firmware in your ESC or reflash the firmware, you need to recalibrate your ESC. I'll quickly walk you through the calibration process since it's pretty easy. I use the Futaba radio system, but all radio systems have similar features. First, ensure that all endpoints or EPA or travels are at 100 for both throttle and brake. As you can see, I have mine turned down. Go back to 100 for throttle and brake. Then, unplug your USB cables and turn the ESC off. While holding full brake, turn on the ESC. Keep holding brake at this time. All right, it's found brake. Now pull full throttle. It's found full throttle. Now your McLaren ESC is calibrated and on the latest firmware version 40.01. Video guys, if you guys enjoyed the content, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more McLaren racing content.